The Ohlone inhabited most of the San Francisco Bay Area, as far south as the Monterey Bay. The Ohlone had about 50 groups or tribes which were all politically independent. In the 16th century, prior to the arrival of the Spaniards, over 10,000 indigenous peoples lived in the central California coastal areas between Big Sur and the Golden Gate of San Francisco Bay. The influence of the European world began with the development of the three missions between 1776 and 1836. The Spanish also developed military garrisons called presidios, missions of their own and settlements. In this European influence, came new diseases and disorganization of tribal communities. Diseases, forced labor, and efforts to indoctrinate indigenous peoples led to the destruction of the way of life for Ohlone's. The San Francisco Bay Area hosts many indigenous artists, some of which are a part of the Black Salt Collective. Although based primarily in Oakland, an artist of the San Francisco Bay Area is Grace Rosario Perkins. Her mother is Navajo and father is Pima, and she would weave Navajo language into her very own work. She uses her own personal narrative to create works of art that layers words, objects, faces, and signifiers built from cultural dissonance, language, and history. Her group, the Black Salt Collective, was recently an SF MoMA Seco Award nominee. The collective recently curated a show with over 30 artists called Visions into Infinite Archives at Soma Arts SF. Her most recent work was as a featured exhibiting artist with the Black Salt Collective at the Fort Mason Center in San Francisco, which interestingly enough was the location for many Ohlone villages. The Black Salt Collective has received recognition from the SF Chronicle Days Magazine, KQED, and more. Grace Rosario Perkins' work includes paintings, 3D art, printmaking, and drawings. With art on many different media, she's able to produce a variety of work for open studios.